Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going over one more example using the method of undetermined coefficients to find a particular solution to a second order non-homogeneous differential equation. And in this case, the right hand side is an nth degree polynomial. So um, first of all, before we get into uh, using the actual method of undetermined coefficients, um, a good thing to do is to find the complementary solution um, to the differential equation anyways, because then we'll also be able to um, find the general solution if that's required from us. So in order to do that, what we want to do is we want to write the, uh, the homogeneous differential equation that is associated with the original differential equation. So that's just the same left-hand side, and uh, we just set the right-hand side equal to zero. Um, if we then write the characteristic equation for that, we have r squared plus 2r minus 8 is equal to zero. We can simplify this a little bit, so we have r plus 4 times r minus 2 equal to 0. And then we're going to see that the roots here, we have one root is equal to positive 2, and our other root is equal to negative 4, which means that the complementary solution to the original differential equation, yc of t, is going to be equal to c1e to the 2t plus c2e to the negative 4t. All right, so now that we have the complementary solution, we're going to pause here and we're going to go after a particular solution using the method of undetermined coefficients. So uh, because we have an nth degree polynomial on the right hand side, then we can assume that the form of our particular solution is going to also basically be like, similarly an nth degree polynomial. So we're going to assume that it is a t squared plus b t plus c where a, b, and c are just undetermined coefficients, and we're going to figure out what those are through this process. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to take the derivative of yp of t, so we have yp prime of t, and that's just going to be equal to 2at plus b. And then we take the derivative again, so the second derivative of yp of t, and that's just going to be equal to 2a. And just like the other examples that I was doing, we want to sub in yp of t to where the y is in the original differential equation. We want to sub the first derivative in where we have the first derivative. And then we want to sub the second derivative in where we have the second derivative in the original differential equation. So that is going to look like this. And then we just want to distribute out this 2 and 8 and then group all of the like terms that have t squareds together, that have t's together, and then all of the coefficients that do not have a t squared or a t together. And in order for the left-hand side of the equation to equal the right-hand side of the equation, we have to have the same number of t squareds, we have to have the same number of t's, and we have to have the same number of uh, constants, basically. So when we look at the coefficient in front of the t squared on the right, it's just 1. It's 1 times t squared. And here we have negative 8a. So basically, this has to equal 1, because this here is a 1, uh, just purely looking at the t squareds. On the right-hand side, there are no t's. Um, by themselves, so this has to equal 0 because the left-hand side also has to have no t's. And then over here we have a negative 4, and so this has to equal negative 4. And if it does, then the left-hand side is going to equal the right-hand side. So we can write that down here where we have negative 8a has to equal 1. Um, we have 4a minus 8b has to equal 0, and we have 2a plus 2b minus 8c has to equal negative 4. So now we have our three equations, and we have three unknowns, and it's pretty easy to solve just by using substitution. Um, so we can start off here. We can see that a is just going to be equal to negative 1 8th. And then if we plug a into this expression here, we have 4 times negative 1 8 uh, minus 8 times b is equal to 0. So we're going to get negative 8b is equal to a half, and therefore b is equal to negative 1 16th. And now if we just sub in a and b into this expression, we get 2 times negative 1 8 plus 2 times negative 1 16th minus 8 times c is equal to negative 4. Um, then we can simplify this a little bit by setting everything to the same denominator. So we have negative 
4 over 16 uh, minus 2 over 16 minus 8c is equal to negative 64 over 16. So this is going to reduce a little bit. So we have negative 8c is equal to negative 58 over 16. And c is just going to be equal to 58 over 128. Or we can also reduce that to uh, 29 over 64. All right, so we found a, b, and c. And if you remember, the particular solution had the form of a t squared plus b t plus c. So that means that our particular solution that we found is actually going to be equal to negative 1 8 t squared minus 1 16 t plus 29 over 64. And if you were looking for the general solution as well, if you remember, the general solution is y of t. And that's just equal to the complementary solution, yc of t, plus particular solution, yp of t. So when we add them together, this is our general solution to the original differential equation.